Today's video isn't going to be as long or as filled with information as the ones that I released over the past few days. Uh, it's mainly going to be a, a shorter video about the new medkits, or as they're now called, the new armor plates in the Division 2. And don't worry, I'm not going to bore you with all the information that we already got during E3. Yes, we know you have to hold down the button to activate a medkit or an armor plate now. And yes, we know that your character cannot move during that time period. That's not what I'm here to tell you. Uh, but while playing the game, I not only noticed a few smaller changes that the developers have made since E3, such as the fact that the armor plate channel time is no longer interrupted when taking damage, and I also got to test different type of armor plates. Now for those that missed it in one of my previous videos, I speculated that different specializations would also be able to give the player different type of armor plates. And I said that because I saw a specific slot for those armor plates in the menus that they showed off during the E3 gameplay. Which is something that, of course, only makes sense if you're actually able to select something from that. Now, the menus in the both that I played, they were different, so I didn't actually get to see this. But it turned out that I was right about having different medkits for different specializations. So, uh, while playing, I actually had access to four different type of armor plates, each with their own effects, which I'm not really sure what all the effects are yet, but uh, I'll go over what I know so far. Now, the first armor plate is, of course, the default one. We've all seen this already. You hold down the button, and upon completing the channel time, you heal up to your maximum HP. You'll be using this armor plate kit, or whatever you want to call it, all the way from level 1 to level 30. Then, once you reach level 30, you can choose a specialization. And with each specialization, you'll get a different type of armor plate. Now, the one I played most is the Survivalist, which is the specialization that allows you to use a crossbow. And this one comes with an armor plate that heals you quickly over time. The channel time is still just as long as with the normal armor plate. In fact, there's not a single armor plate that actually allows you to instantly cast it. There's always the two seconds that you have to wait. So... Uh, having something heal over time might look worse on first sight because why would you want that instead of getting all your health back instantly? But the thing is, is that it actually keeps healing you or it keeps giving you armor, whatever you want to call it, for five seconds after you press the button, regardless if you're back at full health or not. So let's say that you, you get shot at and you're low health, so you want to use your armor plate. You use it, but then after you've used it, you will keep taking damage. Well, that's kind of a perfect scenario for this type of armor kit because for five seconds long you will keep getting your armor back and if you take damage meanwhile within those five seconds you'll end up getting a lot more armor back than with a normal armor plate you'll actually end up trading damage very efficiently and i can see this being pretty useful in pvp as well as long as you don't instantly get killed you'll end up winning the damage trade with this for sure especially because you can also use it when you're almost full health so then you press it and instantly fight you'll keep healing yourself over and over during the damage trade i can see this being a very 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 powerful armor plate then we have the special armor plate for the demolitionist which i actually wasn't able to figure out what it was up until working on this video i barely caught it by accident when just looking through some footage what this armor plate does is that upon using it it only gives you back 70 percent of your maximum armor and then, nothing. Um, there is a small buff icon under your health bar whenever you use it uh, that lasts 15 seconds long. And I was initially thinking that this might have been some sort of damage buff or something that gives you increased healing received or, you know, something among those lines. But it actually seems that uh, the player gets nothing in those 15 seconds while the icon is on the screen. It is only that after those 15 seconds you get something back. And what you get back is the 30% of remaining armor that you didn't get while using the armor plate initially. Uh, this is the only footage that I have of it, which is also the reason why I only figured it out after watching some of my gameplay back. But if you slow it down, you can see that I barely get 30% of my armor back because the armor plate that I activated 15 seconds ago, that timer has just expired. It's actually not from the armor plate that I'm currently using. The benefit of this would obviously be that you could use your armor plate, perhaps when your armor isn't drained out completely, or you could use an armor plate and then repair the rest with a repairing skill, such as, I don't know, the Mender Seeker Mine Healing Mod or something. 
And then you can go in and fight with another player and time that 30% of remaining armor that you still get to be uh, during the time that you're trading damage versus another player, which will then obviously give you the upper hand because mid fight you suddenly get a big chunk of your armor back. I still haven't quite figured out yet what the armor kit does that, uh, that the sharpshooter has. It works in a similar way to the one for the demolitionist, except it doesn't repair 70% of your armor, it only repairs 50%, but it also leaves you with a 15 second timer as well. Um, however, when this timer runs out, and even during the timer, nothing really seems to happen. Now, I initially thought that the sharpshooter armor kit uh, gave you these extra blue armor bars on top of your normal armor so that you have sort of a bonus, a little bit of a, a burst bonus, something that's comparable to an overheal in the Division 1. But that actually just seems to be a separate talent that activates when the player takes cover. And I've also looked at damage numbers before and after the armor plate, but they're also the same, so uh, I'm not too sure what's going on. I have a suspicion though, and this is based on absolutely nothing but my wild guess, but I think that it's possible that when, uh, you know, you activate this armor plate uh, and then the armor plate gets destroyed before the 15 second timer runs out that you can see under your health bar, then in that case you get the remaining 50% of your armor back. That's something that I could see work for this game as well. Now that is a complete wild guess though, so don't quote me on it. Uh, it's just how I think it might work when also looking at what the developers did for the other armor plates in the game. I was told though uh, at the event that we shouldn't take what we see in this build 100% for granted because many of the talents uh, in, this, in this build are still a work in progress. You'll see a lot of icons on the screen sometimes that maybe aren't quite finished yet or maybe that don't really do anything. So it is possible that in the final game or even already in the beta that these things, uh, they, they have been altered a little bit. I just want to show this off to you already because I want to let you all know that yes, we will indeed have different type of armor plates with different specializations in the Division 2. Something that I also wanted to talk about when it comes down to the armor kits is something that I mentioned at the start of the video, which is that players are no longer interrupted in any way if they take damage while channeling that armor plate. And I think this is especially good for solo players, both inside and outside of the Dark Zone. Um, you know, if you're at range and you're playing by yourself and you have some cover to hide behind, but you know that the enemy is coming up to you, you can now just go around the corner and hold the medkit button down and, you know, of course there's a risk that you will die because he comes around the corner and shoots you down. But on the other end, the channel time is only two seconds long, so if he comes around the corner, maybe lands two or three bullets, but you still get the channel off in time because it's not interrupted by bullets anymore, then suddenly you'll end up back with full armor and you can start shooting right back at them, which then allows you to turn the fight if your aim happens to be better than the aim of the other guy. In a lot of cases, I still died, but you know, played on console, not too good on console. I think we talked about this in about every video now, so gotta stop mentioning it. My gameplay is shit, deal with it. Something that you might also find interesting is that in the dedicated PvP modes in Skirmish and Domination, players will start off with only two armor plates as opposed to the five medkits that we have in the Division 1. And if you die and respawn, you will only get one armor plate. And this actually has quite a big impact on the gameplay because if you manage to deal some damage to an enemy from far away, that's going to be lasting damage because armor doesn't just magically heal up. And, you know, they could use their armor plate to, to, to repair that. But in a lot of cases, that's their only armor plate that they're going to have. And then from that moment on, they're not going to be able to heal themselves anymore. Uh, sure, armor still regenerates out of combat, and it's not too difficult to go out of combat in Skirmish and Domination. And when you're out of combat, it instantly regenerates. It's way faster than it is in the Division 1. But as long as you're in combat, and as long as you're fighting other players, or at least as long as other players are close to you, the armor bar doesn't passively regenerate at all. So unless you've got some healing skills or armor repairing skills, um, any damage is going to be lasting damage. And that's really something interesting because we haven't really had something like that in the Division 1. Uh, this is going to change combat in quite a big way. Now, it's really hard to say whether I like all of this or not. As I mentioned previously in one of my first videos, I wasn't able to play Skirmish myself due to some technical issues over at Massive. And I only played one round of Domination, so that is far, far too little playtime to give any sort of opinion on anything. 
I think it would be good to maybe get some armor plates here and there from enemies that you kill as some sort of reward. Because if there's no way to get them back, that's kind of harsh. And you're really going to have to rely on healing skills. But it's impossible to say whether that would be a good thing or not without playing more games of it. Also, it seems obvious to me, but I think some people might have missed it. So I wanted to cover it quickly anyway. And that's the, the segments of the armor bars above everybody's health bar. It's easy to miss, but each of those little blocks, those little white blocks represents a certain amount of armor. Not sure what the exact value is. Uh, something that might also change in the final game. Uh, but this works in the same way as in MOBA games, where if somebody gets tank here and tank here, you will also see the amount of bars or segments increase on his health or armor bar as well. Here, for example, my level 10 character has only 8 armor bars, but then my level 30 character has 25. So yes, uh, in a Division 2, you will actually be able to see how tanky someone is just by looking at their health bar before even shooting at them in PvP. And this is something good. It's something that I suggested a long time ago, even for the Division 1 as well, because it was really hard to see how much health someone had exactly. Uh, and honestly, I think it's just a great addition to the game. And I think that pretty much covers everything I know about the new armor system. That's all I have for this video. I told you it was going to be a, sort of a shorter one. And that also, that's going to be the last video that I have planned for, uh, you know, for the things that I wanted to share from my play session over at Massive Studios. I've pretty much shared everything that I wanted to share, gotten everything off my chest that I wanted to get off my chest. So until we learn something new, you can consider my channel to be on vacation again. But I guess with the beta coming up and with the game's release coming closer, you're not going to have to wait months again before I upload something else. Uh, so yeah, I want to thank everybody for watching all these videos. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you uh, found them helpful. And as always, I will see you guys later, or like they say in the Netherlands, see you later.